welcome back. Okay, we're going back out. It's a really beautiful day outside. Um, kind of windy, but according to um, the wind direction, where we're going should be super protected, or at least somewhat protected, which is what we're going for. Um, my plan is to do a catch, clean, and cook for y'all. I know that everybody was asking about the uh, whole redfish in the last video that I did live, and I know a lot of you don't want to sit there and uh, watch like a two-hour live thing of me doing it. So hopefully, we'll catch a redfish today, come back, um, and gut it, scale it, and do all that fun stuff, and I will cook it whole for y'all so you guys can see it, and hopefully we can catch one. Let's do it! Also, I have this little thing right here. So it's supposed to be, you know, this is supposed to help with the wind, so hopefully y'all will be able to hear me no matter what's happening out there. It should be nice if it works. Alright guys, so I totally uh, did not have time to turn the camera on, but finally, <laughs> 16 and a half, like if you could describe to me a more perfect redfish to make whole, it would be this one. So finally, let's head home and start preparing him. What I like to do first is start with scaling the fish, but basically if you are doing this and you're making a redfish or any fish whole, you want to take the scales off, take the guts out, and take the, um, the gills out. So. Obviously gloves are really great for this part. I highly recommend you wear gloves. So at this point, this is what it looks like. And I don't know if you guys can see, um, there's this lining of the stomach. You wanna take that off too. You wanna try to take that off. And it's a lot easier to take off when the surface is dry. So it's gonna be super hard for me to get right now. But you literally just like rip it off. It. Completely empty. Um, you guys can see I took the gills out too. You want to take those out, and this is optional. But if you wanna, if you wanna cut the fins off, you can do that too. All right. Next thing you want to do is you want to cut, and I'll show you. Kind of cut along the back of the redfish spine starts, and then literally just cut, cut down that spine like that. just like that um, that part is also optional it really just helps 
bring in that flavor like you can pack as much seasoning as you can right here in this fold so it's not just only like on top and in, on the inside but it's completely optional <laughs> so you want to do the same thing to the other side Alrighty guys, so it should look like this. Hopefully you guys can see that. Alright, our fish is officially ready. Prepped. I'm gonna give it another nice wash again. And then the best thing you can do if you're doing this, especially with redfish, any fish honestly, you want to make sure it's as dry as possible before you start seasoning it and put it in your oven. So I'm gonna go inside and put it on some paper towels, get it as really dry as I can and then We'll start cooking so this next part the seasoning part is basically up to y'all whatever you prefer um, I usually do just my favorite seasoning which is uh, Papa Earl's on it but I found this new one um, from this tasty company that I really like and it's cilantro lime zest and garlic which sounds totally just unbelievably amazing um, like I said before you really want to get that skin on the outside and on the inside as dry as possible before you start seasoning it. So as you can see, I filled the inside with paper towels. Just get the inside good. Ooh, sorry y'all, I am like white. This took a lot longer than expected to get this fish today. Holy cow, did it get burnt? So that stomach is nice and clean though, and that's what you want. And woo! <laughs> Okay, <laughs> y'all live for my disasters though, so it's okay. You wanna cut, uh, so this is, a, this is a redfish. You wanna cut um, two or three slits on each side of the body just so that you can season it better and then it'll cook um, just faster that way. So, I don't think that it matters um, how many or what direction but if you think that it does, well, let me know. All right, so I got three right here. You guys can see that I did the same thing on the other side. And they don't have to be super deep. Got that, perfect. So now that you have all your ingredients together, um, like I said before, lemons and um, orange slices if you prefer that. So if you're gonna try something new, you can also stuff it with literally whatever you want. I just like the freshness of the, the, the lemons. Tang stuff. All right, with this whole red fish, y'all, the key is to season it really well. You really want all that flavor to get through that skin. That's why we cut these slits up here. Just make it easier for you to season. Get really good. And the inside. Just like that. Make sure you spread it in there. You know. Salt and pepper. Lots of lemon juice. Last thing you want to do is take these lemon slices and you want to just put them literally directly in the side. Like so. They don't have to be nice and like put there any certain way. So I have my thyme plant. So I, I love thyme, especially in fish, so I definitely want to incorporate that flavor in there. Also, what's good about this is that you're basically not going to eat any of what's, what goes in the stomach. It just serves, the purpose of it is just to give the fish on the inside as much flavor as possible. So you literally can just stick whatever herb you want directly in the stomach like that. You don't have to worry about getting it off the, the little vine. So this should be something like what you're gonna end up with. 
before it goes on the grill or in the oven or whatever you decide to do with it. So the thing with this is that you want to be careful not to overcook it. Um, because if you overcook it, you're screwed. Um, basically, when you're cooking it on the half shell and you do it on the grill, it's okay if you get the actual half shell part a little burnt because the scales are so thick that that necessarily doesn't mean that your meat is burnt, if that makes any sense. Um, but with this, since we took the scales off, if anything on the bottom burns, then your fish is burning too. So, we want to pick it on a really low heat. I cooked it for like 15 minutes last time but I also did it in the oven inside the house so I think this cooking time is gonna be a little different I think I'm just gonna let it go for like eight minutes on low heat and I'm gonna check it um, usually if you just stick a fork in it it's like any other fish the fork should go straight through if it doesn't for any reason it means that it still has some time left you want it to be like nice white flaky like literally just coming off those bones kind of meat so hopefully this turns out good <laughs> So you literally should be able to just, the skin, see like, so all this back, yep. This backbone should just come off that. And then we'll literally just come off this redfish. And then all you're left with is that really delicious meat. Look at that. Super white flaky meat. Oh, that is absolutely delicious yeah it should just literally fall off that bone or the plate or whatever you have it on mm. if you have some extra um, lemon if you want to squeeze on there while it's hot oh my goodness if you guys can see that the backbone you can either pull it out or leave it in there. Just gonna leave it in there. And you can just kind of eat around it if you do leave it in there. No big deal. It's so good. I hope y'all try it. This recipe out if you um, are getting bored with just cooking it on the half shell or frying it or blackening it. This is definitely something that you can do to kind of change it up. Um, you can also play around with the recipe a lot. You, you can stuff it with different things. You can season it with whatever you want. Try different things out. So let me know if you try it in the comments below or if you like the recipe. Make sure to subscribe. Like this, this uh, video if you enjoyed it. And until next time.